Yeah, 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 chickens in the cell. So I'm just gonna teach you guys what I know about mixing and engineering so you guys can do it for yourselves and have good and clean mixes so you guys won't ever have to, you know, go searching YouTube for mixing tutorials. By the way, guys, um, I wasn't planning to actually like do a Yeet song, put my own vocals on this uh, Yeet beat on Get Busy. And I was just trying to like sound like him so you would get the idea. Got a spell. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like him. We're wishing well. All right, I haven't even gotten to the mixing yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first thing on our vocal chain is a compressor. I didn't, I don't know how to use a compressor at all. I just go through some of these. And I'm like, huh, okay, studio vocal. Studio vocal works for me every single time. Unless like the gain's too loud or the attack is too fast. Next thing on the vocal chain is a de-esser. Go on your EQ, channel EQ, and grab one of these knobs. I don't use this EQ anymore, but... It doesn't matter, you can use any EQ. You get the smallest it can go, like the 7K to 10K range, I think. I suppose it's somewhere like around here. What is the most annoying like S sound, like the S sound? Go back to the de and get this exact frequency and then put it in the de -esser. That's how much you're suppressing that specific frequency by this suppression. The People's de might look differently from mine. Oh, so now is the EQ. Uh, the low end is basically all of the mud, all the unnecessary sounds you don't need. Why you get rid of the low end is because they're also low end inside kicks in 808s, and those clash together. So the low end of the vocals clash with the beat as well. It doesn't sound clean. Drag it all the way over until it sounds too thin. So I do mine around like 150 or something. Okay, you want to go up on the gain. Doesn't sound good. See, it's right here for this one. Like, open up, it makes the vocals more clear and gives it more clarity. You see how it's like, it sounds like it's in a box or it sounds like it's closed up like And it just doesn't sound good. Basically, you just want to cut out everything that stands out the most that just doesn't sound good. You don't want to cut out everything in the EQ because you still want some frequencies. You just don't want like loud and annoying ones. I'm gonna go through like at least 8K to 9K range and boost at least 2 dBs of the high end and it'll just make your vocals sound more brighter. All right, so in the second EQ, you just bring down the same amount of the low end. You also need to use your ears when you mix. So you don't want to just go like, you know, every single time you use the visual EQ. The next thing on your vocal chain you want to add is distortion. I like distortion because it just adds more to the vocals. The next thing you want to add is a noise gate. If you have any like background noise or like a fan in the background, then this will help keep that out of the background by like suppressing it. Say if I put this to like 10 dB, it's not gonna let anything go past that. Next thing you wanna add is a chorus, and this basically, it like spreads out your vocals. You can hear it now. So when you turn it down, it sounds better and it sounds like spread out. The flanger basically does the same thing, but it's not the same thing. It just adds something to it. I put my auto tune like down at the bottom of the vocal chain. For this specifically, I have it 10 speed and 10 note transition just because Yeet has his auto tune on like nothing. I have my range in generic because I mean, I don't really know what my range is. Oh, your echo, you wanna have your, your BPM or your tempo like in time that way like your echo isn't off beat so i have it to where you can like you can hear it but it's not like annoying you so i didn't put my pre-delay in here this time i just left it um so basically it'd be 60,000 divided by your tempo which is 140 divided by four divided by four reverb time this just depends on how long you want the reverb to last i don't really do nothing with the high cut i just leave it and your spread i don't do nothing to that either and on yeet's vocals he doesn't really have so much reverb kind of dry vocals i, I kind of hear him and the ad libs do the most of the work for the reverb don't mind the trolling, um, those are just my Yeet ad-libs, if you can tell. And on the reverb, you wanna add a lot of reverb. His ad-libs have a ton of reverb on it. One of the most important things in music, if you have a bad mix, it just ruins the whole song for you. Ah, yeah, 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 chickens in the cell. Yeah, 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 Bell, 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 bell,
and I'm bringing it busy, yeah. Where my twizzy? All right, in the next video or the next song or whatever I post next, and see you guys later. Peace.